Hi everyone, Ted Levine with Ted Levine Golf, Better Skills for Better Scores. In this drill, we are going to focus on solid contact. This is a wonderful drill to help you delay when you bottom out. Now, we've worked on some different drills in the past. We've worked on the smack drill. We've worked on the line drill. And today's drill is called the Punisher drill. And uh, we'll get to why it's called the Punisher here in just a minute. But this is a great drill to improve on your ball striking. And it's something that you can actually use when you're hitting small shots around the green, some chip shots and some pitch shots. So what I've got here is I've got an old wedge and I basically, I cut open the end of the grip. Now I've got a broken shaft from another club and I'm simply going to insert that into the wedge. So basically, I've got a very long golf club. I've got an extended golf club here, all right? So this extension is going to give us the reference that we're looking for, all right? So for many golfers, let me disassemble this real quick. For many golfers, they have the scooping impulse or the lifting impulse. And by that, I mean as they're moving through the impact zone, that club is getting ahead of their hands and they're breaking down with their wrist. And what the Punisher is going to help that player with is it's going to help them to keep their wrists firmer through impact. So let me put this back together. And, you know, I guess uh, I'm a real big fan of drills that you, uh, you can do inside if it's not very nice out. And also drills that give you instant feedback. And this is certainly one of those drills. So let me make that example of a player who might scoop through the impact zone. If that player is getting that club head ahead of their hands through impact, what's going to happen is that extension is going to wonk them on the side and you're going to basically be punishing yourself. All right? So uh, I don't know if anybody's going to do this drill enough where they get sore, but if they really have bad habits, they might feel it the next day a little bit here on their rib cage. So when you're working with this drill, if you're hitting your side, that's that instant feedback. You know that you're breaking down. So let me make a swing in, on what we want to do. And really, if you want to feel like that club, that extension stays away from your side or doesn't hit your side, that's what we're looking for. And it's going to change where you bottom out. If I'm flipping, I'm going to be bottoming out back here. If I'm keeping this extension away from my side, I'm going to be bottoming out much later. If I'm doing that, I'm going to be reducing the dreaded trunk, excuse me, the dreaded chunky shot, which a lot of people suffer from. So when you do this, another thing to keep in mind is it's only going to be on your quarter swings and your half swings. So you're not going to be making full swings with this because as the swing gets longer, we're adding more speed. And it's very hard for many players to decipher when is that hitting my side. Okay? So Quarter swings, half swings is all we need. So let's say you don't have a club that you can cut open the grip, grip end with. All you want to do is take out another club out of your bag and you're going to hold it or flip it upside down. So you're, you're holding on to the shaft. So it's a little bit different with your grip, but you're still going to have that reference point. Now, if you want to learn really quick, you can dial in that club head. And boy, you'll learn really quick if that club head end is, is digging into your side as you're swinging through. If you have any comments or questions, please leave me the feedback. I'm Ted Levine with Ted Levine Golf, Better Skills for Better Scores. Please visit my website, tedlevine.com, or my Facebook, Ted Levine Golf. Thank you, and good luck.